If it seems like rich people know something that poor and middle class people don't know about money, it's probably because they do. Maybe the rich know some secrets about how to get rich, but that doesn't mean they can't share what they know. In this video, I'm about to share 12 secrets that poor and middle class people don't know about money. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and that little notification bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our video updates. Plus, it helps us spread the Thrive Wise love to help more people thrive wisely. Now, let's begin. Secret number one, let your money work for you. Rich people know that if they want to get richer, they need to make their money work hard for them, not the other way around. Robert Kiyosaki, who wrote Rich Dad Poor Dad, the best-selling personal finance book of all time, based his whole money philosophy on this idea. Most people think that in order to get money, you have to work for it. While this might be true to some extent, it limits how much you can make. This is because you can only work for a certain amount of time, which is one of the most important things you should know. Working hard, which is what most poor and middle class people do, is not always the way to get rich. The rich know about this, so they go the extra mile and put more effort into making their money work for them. They look for ways to make sure they can make money without doing anything. Some of the best ways to make money without doing anything are to rent out your home or invest in bonds, stocks, or currencies. When you pick the latter, you need to know a lot about all the factors and risks associated with each of the source of passive income to make sure that you do it wisely. Secret number two, time is gold. The only thing you can't get back in this world besides your life is time. When you spend 30 minutes, you can't get them back no matter how much you want them. Even if you make the best time machine ever, there's no way to turn back time at this point in human history. That's why regret is such a strong feeling. If you could somehow turn back time, you would do anything to get it. Rich people know that time is a valuable asset and it is worth a lot. They know that most investments earn interest over time. So when you invest, it has a direct effect on how much money you will make. Tomorrow will depend on what you do today, so small amounts invested for a long time can earn you a lot of money in the future. Because of this, it's best to start investing now no matter how much money you have. Time will multiply the small beginnings, especially if you invest in trusted and reputable channels. You can start off by setting up automatic payments or standing orders, whether it's weekly, monthly, or quarterly. Secret number three, never go beyond your means. The rich don't have to worry about money. In fact, they don't try to keep up with the Joneses and only buy what they can afford. If you want to live like the millionaires next door, the first thing you need to do is to keep your spending and budget under control. If you keep track of your spending each month, you can see where your money is going and learn how to live within your means. I hate to break it to you, but spending too much is a surefire way to stay poor. You could end up spending all of your money and going into debt. In their 1996 bestseller, The Millionaire Next Door, The Surprising Secrets of America's Wealthy, authors Thomas Stanley and William Danko said a lot of the same things. They said that two of the biggest secrets of the wealthiest people in the country are living below their means and not having a big spending lifestyle. Most wealthy people budget their money and make sure they spend it wisely. Some may seem to stay in the same situation even though they've made a lot of money, making it hard to tell if they're wealthy or not. Secret number four, have multiple sources of income. A job might give you a steady income, but that isn't always the case. On the other hand, an investment can lead to growth, but there is also a chance of losing money. From this concept, it's safe to say that having multiple sources of income is a wise decision. The best way to do this is to get money from sources of income that don't require you to do anything. Passive income comes from investments like stocks that pay dividends, rental properties, profits from a business you don't run every day, and royalties on creative works or inventions. People in the middle class and the poor are happy with one source of income, and they don't look for other ways to make money because they don't know this money secret. They will stick to one source of income and trick themselves into thinking that they'll get rich over time. The wealthy, on the other hand, believe otherwise. They know that there are many ways to make extra money and that all you have to do is to find something you're good at and interested in. Secret number five, seek a financial advisor. Not everyone knows a lot about everything. 
Rich people may not know everything about money investments and finances either, and many of them recognize the value of professional advice, even if it costs more. Rich people know that a financial advisor can help them build wealth faster and in less time if they did it on their own. Financial advisors can give you a better tried and true strategies and a wide range of investment options that will help you reach your goals. Before hiring an advisor, you should do a lot of research on them. This can make it less likely that you'll lose money because of someone else's lack of skill, bad judgment, or lack of morals. Secret number six, you'll never be rich working for somebody. Employees do their jobs to make their bosses wealthy. If you want real wealth, you might want to be your own boss. Forbes says that almost all of the 2,668 billionaires on its list of 2022 made their money through businesses, products, or investments that they or a family member created. The best thing you can get out of working for someone else is to learn how a business works and start your own. You can start by saving little by little until you have enough to get started. Otherwise, the idea that you'll get rich by working for someone else isn't really true. Some people work their whole lives and sometimes leave with no money. The poor and middle class are afraid to start their own businesses because they think it's too risky or too expensive. The wealthy, on the other hand, don't care about the risks and will go for it. Sometimes, the more risks you take, the more money you make. Employment is a safe place to be, but it can be hard to leave. The wealthy will not be comfortable in such a situation and would always think beyond the box called employment. Now that we have gone halfway through the secrets, which one do you think resonates with you? What do you think you've learned so far? We'd love to hear about that in the comment section below as we all try to help each other out. And going back... Secret number 7. Always look at the glass half full. Grant Cardone, an international sales expert, best-selling author, and radio show host of The Cardone Zone, said in an entrepreneur article that there is no shortage of money on the planet Earth, only a shortage of people who think correctly about it. To become a millionaire, you must end the poverty thinking. Cardone said that to get rich, you must get rid of your fears and really believe you'll be rich. He then said, I started with no money, ideas, and a lot of hard work, and now I have a net worth that probably can't be taken away in my lifetime. The first step was to decide what to do and to set a goal. He then wrote this every day for years. I am worth more than $100 million. To make money, you need to be optimistic about your surroundings and what you're doing. The wealthy seem to know what they're doing and are sure of the results. They take calculated risks and don't hesitate to try new things to make money. People in the middle class and the poor are more cautious, and they fear losing what they have because they think they might never get it back. Rich people are good students and spend time learning about their investments, which makes them more experienced and smarter. They know how to win and lose, and their positive attitudes help them stay on track. Secret number 8. Get out of your comfort zone. Rich people rarely stay in their comfort zone because they want to go higher. They know that making money isn't easy and there's a price to pay through hard work. They keep their focus on the goals they want to achieve no matter what. The poor, on the other hand, usually don't know this and will avoid doing things they're not comfortable with and miss out on the many opportunities they are given. Secret number 9. You don't need a lot of money before you can invest. Most people don't invest because they either don't have much money or they don't make much money. However, you can start where you are and save with the goal of reaching something. The only difference between you and someone who has a lot of money at once is that it will take you longer to build up your wealth with your small savings. The poor and middle class tend to ignore this fact and pass up opportunities because they say they don't have enough money. If you put your small savings in an account or somewhere that pays interest, you'll be surprised at how quickly your money grows. The poor tend to spend anything they have and end up getting poorer. This secret, along with patience, can help you build wealth in the long run. Secret number 10. Don't let your money sleep in your savings account. The truth is that you need money for your future, but you also need to grow the value of that money instead of letting it go down in the bank. I say this because it's clear that if you let your money sit in the bank while prices rise to close to 6%, its real value is going down, not up. 
It may not be common knowledge that money left in the bank doesn't help the owner because banks' interest rates on savings are usually very low. The poor and middle class usually leave their money in their accounts because they feel it's safer even though it doesn't earn much for them. Instead, savings should be invested in well-researched investment channels that will bring in more money. Secret number 11. Use other people's money. The old saying that it takes money to make money might sound like a tired cliché that poor and middle class people use to justify spending money on things that don't make sense. But it's a golden rule for the rich. The key is to use the money off other people to make yourself richer. With good planning and a clear idea of where you want to go, you can use other people's money to make or increase your wealth. Investors and banks are always willing to lend money which you can use wisely and make much more. This may require some good groundwork and research to support your borrowing. A good business model or business plan will come in handy especially in real estate. This has worked so well that developers or land sellers pay a small down payment on the property and pay it back as they sell it. This way, they make more money without having to spend their own money. Doing this over and over again can lead to a lot of wealth. The poor probably won't do this because it's risky because you're not using your own money. However, if you know where you're going, you'll realize that these risks are worth it. Secret number 12. Pursue your passion. Rich people get rich by doing something they are really interested in. If you don't love what you do, you won't put in the time and effort needed to be successful. In 1984, Jim Koch left his steady job at Boston Consulting Group to start Boston Beer Co., the company that made Samuel Adams Boston Lager. Koch started a business that is now worth a lot of money because he liked beer. The most common thing I remind people of is to only pursue something you love because a small business is going to be very demanding of your time, your energy, it just eats your life. Coke told Business Insider, and if you're doing something you love, then you will accept and even enjoy that. If you're just doing it to get rich, you're going to lose heart. And there you have it, the 12 secrets that poor and middle class people don't know about money. If you enjoyed this video, then you will probably learn a lot more from watching this other video, how to become rich from nothing. If you click on the screen right now, you can go and watch that. Do you want to learn more about how to thrive wisely? What videos would you want to watch next? Feel free to comment down below. And please don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more videos on how to thrive wisely. Till next time.